Jim Ed with the Improvement Channel here. Today we're taking a look at the Toto Washlet C5 bidet toilet seat. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the toilet seat, about the install, about what I like, what I may not like as much, and kind of contrast that to some other Toto brands like the K300 and the really the main differences. So first off, um, this thing is easy to install. Uh, there's a little T connector that goes in here that you can see. Hopefully, yeah. This little plastic piece right here. So this was connected up to here. Uh, you disconnect that, you add this piece, and that allows this toilet seat. I've got it turned around here where you can't really see it, which is the idea, where the T um, supplies water to the seat. So I just leaned on this. You heard it come on. That's the pre-mist. So one of the questions I get asked about the toilet bidet seat is, hey, how's this work? Does it, does it ever spray water into the bathroom if somebody pushes the wrong button? The answer to that is no. The seat doesn't do anything until somebody is on it. So I guess I could push down on it like so, and then I could spray water, but uh, that would kind of be the hack for that. It's not going to you know, happen on accident. So as soon as you sit down, it gives it a pre-mist, which lets the whole entire inside of the uh, bowl, which is gonna keep it cleaner, because everything's wet. You know, if you ever spit in the sink with your uh, toothpaste in the mornings and you haven't wet the sink down first, it tends to stick. So, uh, similar deal here. Uh, the only other thing you're gonna need is electricity. So, I have ran an extension cord temporarily. Uh, I've got an outlet right here, so all I'm gonna have to do is uh, drop down the wall, <clears throat> and just put an outlet right there. That we put an outlet right down here towards the bottom. That will be really easy. Um, if you have a, such of a close proximity to an outlet on the other side of the wall, it'll be easy for you too, or you can hire an electrician. Shouldn't cost you too much. Um, and then the contrast on this is the K300 has unlimited water. It heats as it goes, where this one has a reservoir. Uh, you can certainly sit on it long enough to run through all of the hot water on the reservoir so it goes from, you know, whatever you have it set to, rather warm, which is all on the back of the remote. And it doesn't show you, I don't think, a whole lot on the description, but there's a bunch of settings that you can set up. You can set person one and two. Uh, you can set, like, the direction, like, where the spray wand comes out and stops at to your liking, and then how much pressure you like. Uh, if you like it to spray or shoot more of a stream. And then it also has the oscillating action, which moves the stream back and forth. Uh, you've got the air dryer. You've got it, the, uh, the, the cleaning for the ladies. And then the uh, other cleaning for everybody. And then this cuts it on and off. So uh, it also comes with a mount that is magnetic. So you just kind of set it on there. You do that again so they really have it on the shot. And it just kind of magnetically hooks right there. And you can just use it on the wall. Rarely is this ever taken down. Um, so the deal with the running out of water, um, yes, you can sit on it so long it'll run out of water. So the water will go from warm to cooler to cooler to pretty much whatever your cold water temperature is. But it does heat back up really quick. Also, the toilet seat heats up. And that's pretty much the same on all of them. Um, if you want to go all the way up to the S500E, uh, it will have things like uh, what the, where the water is always running, or I'm sorry, the continuous hot water. Um, they all have soft closed toilet seats and lids, but the um, S550E will also have a deal where you walk up to it and then the seat lifts up the lid lifts up and all that so you don't have to touch anything so that's kind of cool but overall uh this has been a bit of a game changer it's uh you know don't be shy about this if you're a guy go ahead and use it it works very well uh somebody was telling me the other day that it's uh, like using the method of the uh clean uh clean something versus uh, smear something uh type deal so if you can relate to that you'll understand that this is a must-have